Mark's been joined by the lovely Chelsea Winter today. Welcome to the cafe. Hi, thank you. Good to be here. Awesome. <laughs> That's right, I'm joined by Chelsea Winters and we're doing two recipes out of a new book. And this is your fourth book, isn't it? It is. Wow, in fourth four book. Years. So you have been quite busy. <laughs> well, in four years, it didn't sound that busy, actually. No, <laughs> <laughs> no it is, it is, sorry. <laughs> well, a lot of work goes into that bad boy. I know, I know. <laughs> um, and then so we've got uh, Bellissimo chicken, yes. which sounds awesome. And then we've got some uh, beans, what we're going to serve it with, so with some hazelnuts as well. Mm. Sounds really nice, a compliment to it. So, yeah. so run us through like the Bellissimo chicken quickly. Well, the bellissimo baked chicken, and you've got to say it like that because <laughs> oh, you know, better. Italians, yeah. Um, it's just kind of a bit of what everyone loves, I reckon. Um, chicken, two types of cheese, mm. um, a homemade crumb, which goes really lovely and, and crispy on top. So it's really easy to make, but it's kind of one of those meals you, you eat and you serve up and your family goes, oh... Yum! I want to eat that again. Uh, it's kind of like <laughs> restaurant quality, I'd like to say. Um, and so, you know, it's just cream cheese and some mozzarella and the chicken beautiful. wrapped in bacon and make a beautiful homemade tomato sauce, bung it in the oven, one tray bake. You're going to love those dishes. Wow, eh? well, it sounds awesome. Right, well, we're going to roast some hazelnuts off and then come back a little bit later and we're going to start this uh, bellissimo chicken. Yes, well done. <laughs> Welcome back to the cafe in the Mastercraft Kitchen. We are joined by Chelsea Winter, who's already a best-selling cookbook author and now has book number four out. It is called Scrumptious. You can see it right there. It is on the shelves. And she's going to be showing us how to create a couple of her new recipes this morning. Chelsea, it is so nice to have you here in the Mastercraft Kitchen. Oh, it's exciting to be here. I oh, know. Yeah, give her a round of applause, everyone. Yeah, no, oh, this is nice. exciting. Book number four, incredible. We're going to talk more about that a little later on. But what a power team in the kitchen today. Between you two, this is going to be <laughs> delishimo. Yes. Okay. Yay. It's going to be a good feed today. <laughs> well, where are we up to? Let's get going. Let's get cooking. Yeah, let's. Right, so we've got the chicken here, so I'm going to crack on the chicken and show you how to stuff this. <laughs> Chelsea's going to make the uh, the tomato sauce, which is going to be the base of the whole casserole, mm -hmm. and she's going to make some breadcrumbs as well. Right, so we'll crack onto this. Okay, nice. Ooh. Right, so basically what you want to do is get your chicken breast, yep. you know, trim any sort of excess uh, fat or, or skin off, you don't want that on there, so take that off. And then carefully you want to slice it in half. So we're going to start with a thick side, yep. and go to the middle, and obviously be really careful because you are cutting towards your hands, so put your hands flat on top mm -hmm. and go underneath. Okay, so yeah. you're just gonna just gonna cut in and you wanna leave like a little bit on this side so it's a hinge. Okay. So you can open it up. You know, oh, so you're not so going to love all the way through. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Right, and then we are gonna <laughs> stuff it. So as Chelsea was saying before, we've got two different types of cheeses in here. So this is gonna be like tasty. And it's also gonna keep the chicken nice and moist. So we've got a little bit of cream cheese here. Yep. Good. Beauty. And I think the secret with obviously stuffing things is not to overstuff it. Because you overstuff it and then it all falls out and yeah. makes a mess of it, but it just tastes great. You don't so like that. It's a very fine balance. A little bit of cheese oozing out's cool though. Oh yeah, Ooh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you've got to have that so you can see it and go. Oh. And we'll put crunchy in, bits then. around yeah. the side. Yeah. <laughs> But you're right, I usually stuff the chicken when I'm cooking at full stock because I usually just dry it out, so that's why I'm learning from the masters here. Um, so stuff it beforehand and get it right. Right, so just, just a little bit of seasoning going on. Cream cheese, mozzarella, basil leaves, and then we're going to fold it back over. Look at that, it's just like yeah. double, it's feast. double in size. Right, and then, we're not finished yet. No, we're not finished. We have got some bacon. We're going to wrap it in bacon, and I'm just going to secure it in um, some rosemary, which is going to give it a nice flavour as well. So that's pretty cool. That looks incredible. And Chelsea, how did you come up with this recipe? Um, you know, you said your dad loved it when he was up the other day. Um, you know, did you stumble across it? Well, no. I mean, I went into the kitchen and decided to do sort of a, my take on a stuffed chicken slash parmigiana recipe. and. You know what? People love chicken. Yes, they do. They love bacon. Well, a lot. Sorry. Yes, we I mean, do. Most, no, I love most it. People, <laughs> I do. Um, and cheese and crumbs. And this is a really lovely sort of Italian sort of style dish. And, and people love that sort of cuisine as well. So I wanted to make something really easy that you could, I mean, you can see how easy it is. Mark makes it look yeah. probably just <laughs> yeah. a tad. Even tad. I can do it. Yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> you ram it in the oven and, and, and dinner's done. And okay. Oh, no, it sounds fantastic. And you can get the recipe at the cafe.co.nz or by going and buying Scrumptious, book number four. And uh, Chelsea, while he's finishing off the second chicken breast, you can get cracking with this sauce. So talk us through that. Well, it's actually a little bit deceptive. So I know this is going into a frying pan but I'm not actually doing any cooking at the moment. Um, this is could be like a, a roasting tray, like a, an animal roasting tray or anything like that. It's just going straight in the oven. And we've got some tomatoes. Yes. And tin tomatoes are good. You know, yeah. They have a lot of flavour. You don't have to worry, oh you know I'm using tin, like 
especially when tomatoes aren't in season here, um, tin tomatoes from especially ones from Italy are good. Well, I, found, little... I found some um, organic tin tomatoes oh, for a dollar fifty a tin the other day at the supermarket. So there you go, you stock oh. up. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a little bit of sugar here because, and it's just a tiny bit, but the sugar really helps with the tomato. Brings out the flavour, doesn't, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. Bit of oregano and uh, one of the only dried herbs that I really like using. Okay. Uh, and a little bit of tomato paste. And this is just the base for the stuffed chicken to sit in. So when it's all done, it sits in here and this all cooks in the oven. It reduces and all those flavours intensify and it just kind of acts like a little bit of a sauce to the chicken. Nice work. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll come back a little later on. We'll follow the progress here in the Mastercraft kitchen. <sighs> Okay, we are back in the Mastercraft kitchen. And Chelsea, I just saw you before, before the chicken disappeared to the oven, you crumbed it. Can you quickly take us through what you did? Yes, absolutely. So we've got some breadcrumbs here. So you can use dried breadcrumbs if you want, but you can easily make your own. Right. Hey. Oh, yeah, it's easy. Just any, any stale bread or any old bread, just mm, leave it out, dry. let it dry so it gets really hard. And then just blend it in a blender. Nice, and that's easy. It. There and, you that's, go. and you can have quite a coarse crumb because you can control how fine it goes. Um, bit of rosemary in there just because we had some left over and I thought, hey, why not? <laughs> and uh, some olive oil as well. And that will just help it crisp up and go lovely and golden in the oven. And then you pop that on top of the chicken. And that's the crunch factor. Nice. Yeah. And I tell awesome. you what, when you see the finished product, you are going to love that crunch factor. OK, so chicken's in the oven. Now we're making the beans. Right, so for the beans, so just top and tail them. So you get the nice beans, you take the, the, the stalks off. Yep. Um, the hard bits to eat. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to eat yeah. them. Nah. Boil in salted water. Literally, you want to cook them for about a minute or so. Then take them out, refresh them in ice water, and then this is what you're left with. You've got a nice bright green bean. And oh. <laughs> normally it crunches. <laughs> Chelsea ate it, it crunched. <laughs> you've still got a bit of texture. That's beautiful. Mm. Right, and then we've roasted these hazelnuts. Yeah. So a little bit of salt, pepper, oil, and a top tip for you now. Mm. I know you like top tips. In a I tea do. towel, fold it over. And then just massage the nuts. Oh. Wait, no, I'll, just, I'll just lie down there. <laughs> <laughs> and massage and them. And then, <laughs> see, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a proper cooking technique, that, Mike. That is a great tip, and you're That's very awesome. good at look that. Look at that. So look. the skins have come off. Yeah, so he takes the skins off. And that was only a couple of rubs, yeah, too, yeah, wasn't exactly. it? Oh. Imagine, imagine putting a bit more effort into <laughs> yeah, it. Imagine, right. imagine. And then, so hazelnuts over, a little bit of feta as well, which is really nice. So you've got crunchy beans, crunchy hazelnuts. Mm. Oh, what's nice this cheese? Uh, a bit of feta. Feta, mm. yep. Feta. A um, little bit of olive oil. It's nice to use a bit of flavoured olive, mm. olive oil. We've got a rosemary one today. And a little bit of lemon juice and toss all that together. And I like putting pepper on there because I'm a big pepper fiend. And I know a lot, not everyone is, but I put it on everything. Controversial. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> I'll put pepper in for you. And then Thank that's you. it. I mean, how quick is that? You know, fresh, quick, tasty, texture, beautiful. It's going to work fantastically with the chicken. It is. And is that recipe in your book as well? Is it? it is. So that's in the side section. <laughs> okay, so, you know, cool. when you're like, oh, I just need to take something. You can even take something like this to a barbecue, yeah. you know, as a, as a salad. And look um, how quick it was too. Exactly. To and people are going to love it. Okay, we're going to talk more about your book very soon, Chelsea. Cool. Uh, we'll come back to the Mastercraft kitchen and see everything finished off a little later on. Speaking of which, we're back with Chelsea. We're going to talk to her more straight after these. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> As Mark and Chelsea putting the final touches to the bellissimo baked chicken. Smells incredible. How's it looking, team? It looks even more incredible. Look at that. Chicken's mm -hmm. cooked. The uh, breadcrumbs are nice and crispy. And you see all that cheese oozing out the side. Like That's it what looks we fantastic. Want, hey? yeah, yeah, yeah. That is uh, the money shot oh. right there. Oh, you guys want to try it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Bring it over. Just bring it over so we can all <laughs> smell it. Okay. Look at that. Oh. And the beans and the feta and the hazelnuts. Yes. yes. Nice. Yep, lots of things going on here. Look at that. that Beautiful side. Incredible. And we've got some fresh basil as well, which we're just going to garnish it with. Fresh bears. Okay, that looks incredible. That's very fresh. I just love it. take the basil to the table. Yeah, and just pick their own. in the actual pot. <laughs> in the actual pot, that's <laughs> right. Just a bit of dirt, it's all right.